Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going to do some housekeeping with all of the chaos out in Quebec, Montreal, Rizzuto Mob, Hells Angels, Blood Family Mafia. We're going to hit them all in this quick hitter. There's uh, been a string of news that has come out over the last week to 10 days. I want to hit on it all. Let's start with kind of confirmation on what we've been telling you here. Uh, I would say another piece of confirmation um, from the mainstream press, as well as the um, the Crown and, and court filings out of uh, Montreal right now, uh, that there is a war going on between the Hells Angels and the Rizzuto mob. I know that, again, the mainstream press has been slow to kind of promote that narrative. And we, I see some doubters in the comments over the last year. But uh, according to a court filing last week, there was a attempted, we, we kind of knew about this, there was an attempted uh, hit of Rizzuto Mob Capo Eastside Marco Pizzi last September, uh, where his car dealership was shot up. Uh, they arrested the people that were responsible a couple months later in a court hearing that took place last week where one of the suspects was denied a bond. It came out that he had told a member of law enforcement in an interview or, or yeah, came from him in an interview that the order to shoot up PZ's place of business came from the Hells Angels. So this was in the mainstream um, Montreal media last week. Eastside Marco PZ, 54-ish, one of uh, Leo the Lawyer Rizzuto's main guys right now on the street running the east side of Montreal. Uh, talking about another attempted hit in this 18 month or so, so far, a war between the Hells Angels and the Rizzuto mob over the sports gambling, drug, and prostitution networks across Quebec and Ontario. We all know that uh, it all kind of sparked this whole war within a war was, was kind of spurred on by a rivalry between uh, Leo Rizzuto and his father's former, you know, big time enforcer, loan shark bookie, uh, Francesco Del Balso, Chet. Uh, Chit tried to engineer Leo Rizzuto's murder in March of 23 after a couple attempts had been made on his life. We found that out in some court filings this back in the spring. We thought there had only been two attempts on Del Balso's life, but now we find that there was actually a third attempt made in the weeks before he was eventually murdered in June, on June 5th, 2023 on West Island in Dorval. Um leaving a meeting with the Hells Angels, who he had aligned with uh, to fight the Rizzutos, who we'd been kicked out of. Um, it looks like there was a, I mean, there was. There was another uh, attempt to set his residence on fire. His his uh, house in Laval all got caught on tape. It was videotaped uh, with an iPhone. Same with the, the, um, the attack on PZ. These, you know, shooters were told to take video on their iPhones to prove uh, to the Hells Angels what they did. Um, and this was all caught on tape. The guy wasn't successful. Uh, Del Balso caught him on his security cam footage and alerted police. But this happened, I think, on May 6th or 7th, and uh, he was killed on June 5th. Uh, so that's some, some housekeeping within the uh, Rizzuto crime family. Hells Angels, that's kind of war number 1A, one A, uh, one war 1B going on right now up in Quebec City between the Quebec City Hells Angels and the Upstart Blood Family Mafia, which we've been told is being co-signed. This war on, you know, on their behalf is being co-signed by the Rizzutos. Your enemy's enemy is your friend. Uh, David Icepick Tremel, the 28-year-old ballsy. <laughs> leader, uh, magnetic street gang boss, uh, is still on the run in Europe and North Africa. Allegedly a half million dollar contract on his head from the Hells Angels. But one of his guys who had been on the run, or I should say two of his guys that have been on the run have been 
uh, apprehended in the last couple months. Uh, his bodyguard, Ruben Denis, aka the Rhino, was uh, taken into custody in, in Colum uh, or sorry, in Portugal, Lisbon, Portugal, uh, back in the spring. And then just this past couple weeks, Guillaume Saint Louis Bernier, I think I got that right, uh, one of Termel's close friends and lieutenants, was brought into custody in British Columbia um, on the run. Uh, dodging the same case that Tremel is dodging along with that um, along with that murder contract. So, and then Denis, there's been uh, a bunch of court hearings at this summer that seem to be uh, a bit contentious. So we'll keep you updated with that. But Denis was in court and Bernier was taken into custody. That's our update right now with everything that's going on up in the Great White North. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod. I'm out.